<coughs> Hi there guys, um, so I'm going to be doing a different type of video today. Um, I'm sure that you can tell by the title of this video that I'm here to tell you about my cancer scare story. And in particular, I thought I had testicular cancer. Um, so before I go on the story, I, I don't want you guys worrying. I've got the all clear, I'm all cool, I don't have cancer or anything. Um, I've just been living with this dark secret for well over 10 years and I haven't told anyone. So I think it's about time that I get this off my chest. Um, and I just want to let you know that this, this video, I haven't scripted it or rehearsed. I'm just literally just talking. I just want to get it off my chest and just talk from the heart really. And um, yeah, see, see what you guys think. So I was about 15 or 16 and I just got out of the shower and I was just casually just checking myself down below and and I found a lump and I was just absolutely frozen. I was just so shocked. I just, I didn't know what to do. I thought, what, oh, why, why have I got this? What, what is this? But I just thought to myself, this, this can't be what I think it is. This is this is just uh, some bruise or, or something, you know, it's, it's going to go away. This can't be the big C word. And I just, I just did nothing about it. I just, I went to sleep and tried to just think it was a dream. I pretended it wasn't there. Um, and yeah, I, I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I should tell anyone. I don't know if I should get it checked or anything. So me being a 15, 16 year old naive kid, I just did nothing about it. Um, I just thought to myself, it will go away or I'll wait until it to get bigger. Um, if, if the lump, my lump was to get bigger, then I'll do something about it. But I just thought, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna tell anyone. I'm, I'm too scared. Uh, if it is cancer, so be it. I live with cancer. I, I, I know that that is just an absolutely diabolical thing to think of. I was so stupid, like, just to say to myself, if it's cancer, then I'll live with it. it. If it's fate, then it will happen. I just can't, I can't believe that I even did that to myself. Um, yeah, it's, it's really, it's really bad. Um, I pretty much went every single day for three years till I was about 18 or 19, every single day thinking to myself, have I got cancer? But I just, I just tried to block it out. I did, but it was just always lingering over me. But I just didn't want to do anything about it. I was just too scared. I, I'm, I'm someone that just bottles things up, and I, and I don't want to, I don't want to tell anyone about any of my problems. Um, I couldn't justify going to my mum and dad and saying that I found a lump. Not only have I found a lump, found a lump in my balls, in my private places. Like us guys, we, we don't like talking about things like this, particularly me. And there's, there was no way that I could tell anyone. So that's why I, I just did nothing about it until I was about 18 and 18 or 19 and I, and I plucked up the courage and I thought, this is, this is just stupid. I, I can't keep doing this. I'm, I'm surprised that I'm still alive, to be honest. Um, so I thought, I'm just gonna make an appointment. So I went to the doctor and um, I, was, I was crapping myself, to be honest. Um, dropped down my pants got myself checked out and the doctor said, yeah, I'm, I, it's a cyst, I don't think it's cancer. Um, and after that I was relieved. My heart skipped so many beats. Um, I was just so pleased with myself. I've been waiting for th three years pretty much to, to get myself checked out and I did nothing about it. And it's just come to this moment which only took about a couple of minutes to be checked out and it was fine. And I was just so relieved and I walked out of that place with my with my hands in the air. I was so so relieved. I was so happily, and I just thought, like, I can't I can't tell anyone about this. Like, I'm st I'm still too scared. Um, I barely just gotten over getting myself checked. I I can't tell anyone. I can't go up to someone and go, I've got a lump on my balls. It's just, it's not something that I I really want to talk about. And I'm finding it so hard to talk talk about this right now. Um. So anyway, I left it till I was about about 21. So it was a, it was a good about three years or so. Um, I'd, I'd, cr I'd, I'd blocked out having the lump and then sometimes it would come back in. I think, 
I think I might have found another lump or, or something when I was checking when I when I was around about 21. So I thought, right, this is it. I've I've got to get like a scan. I've got to get a an ultrasound. So I went back to the doctors, um, got my pants again, got checked out, and I said, look, um, you know, I really want to get I want to get this sorted. Can I, you know, get I want to get a scan pretty much. And so I got referred, went to the hospital, and um, and yeah, got the pictures done. And it came back, I had cysts. Um, not not one, but I had two. I had two bloody cysts in my balls. So I had four all together. So um, I was loving that. That was good news to start with. Um, but obviously I had the confirmation that it wasn't cancer. So that was the nail in the coffin for me. I was, I was so ecstatic after that. It was great. Um, and then, yeah, again, I thought, I've got evidence now. I know that it's not cancer. Should I tell anyone? And I just thought, no, I'm still not ready to tell anyone. I've, at least that I know, and I've got the peace of mind, but there's no need to do anything about it. Um, I just always thought to myself, oh, I'll wait until I'm like 40 years old, where I'm, I'm, I've moved out the house and I've got my own family, and I'll just ring up my mum and dad one day and just be like, oh yeah, by the way, I didn't tell you, I had a lump when I was 15 years old. <laughs> it's not cancer, but, yeah, I just I just couldn't do it. So, so as we fast forward to the present day, um, I'm 26 now, and literally last month, I I think I was checking, and I thought I think I might have found another cyst, and also I had these throbbing pains, like literally all week my balls were hurting, and um, I've had throbbing pains before, but they last like like a day or two, and then they like be like every single month, but this was all week and. And I thought, I'm not going to be the 15-year-old kid and just wait ages again. I'm, I'm getting this checked. So literally the next day, I contacted the doctor, went in for an appointment. I got checked out and I said, look, um, <laughs> to be honest, I didn't really care about dropping my pants. I've done it so many times now. I could do it 21, <laughs> but not, not in a weird way, though. Um, but yeah, I said to him, look, you know, it's been five years since I've uh, had an ultrasound. I want to go again, just get a little checkup. They're hurting, I'm not too sure if I found another cyst down there. So um, literally about two, three weeks ago, went for another ultrasound. So not only did they find two balls, but three. I had three extra balls. So I have five balls all together. So literally, if you want any balls, just let me know. I'd be happily to give them away because I'm such a nice guy. So I guess the good thing is, is that, yeah, I, I don't have cancer. Um, it's just cysts. Um, and like one of them is like, a centimetre and the other two are like four or five millimetres. Like we're, we're talking like little, just like little marble shapes really. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's brilliant to have, it's, it's, I love it. So now I'm thinking enough is enough. Um, I've made an appointment to see what the next procedure is to do, um, whether or not I need to take antibiotics for example, or, or surgery. Um, surgery really scares me, but if that's what I've got to do, then um, so be it. I want to get rid of these bloody things. I've, I've been living them for, yeah, literally like 10, 10 creeping up 11 years. Um, and yeah, you, you just don't need to, need to have them. So as I came out of that hospital, I thought, look, literally, I'm a big boy now, I'm 26. I think it's about time that I tell people. So literally on that day, I waited for mum and dad and my brother to get back from work. And I said to them individually, look, I've kept this dark secret from you. Um, and the answer that they all said was, why did you keep it from us that the whole time? And to be honest, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a guy that bottles things up. I, 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 I learned from my mum, literally, if there's anything wrong with me, any problems in my life, I don't like to tell anyone. Like, why should I? Everyone has their own problems, so why should I tell my problems? I just, I just like to deal with it on my own terms. And Particularly like say for instance like you're you're stressed at work. Um, I don't want to tell anyone about it I just want to just give like happiness away. I just I keep all the negative in me I don't want to give that away and probably that's why I do YouTube videos like I'm always doing jokes and being crazy and stuff and um, Yeah, you don't really know what's going on behind closed doors, but but yeah, I'm just one to bottle up so if I'm stressed at work I'm not going to be telling you but if I'm mentioning the cancer word and having a lump, not like on my arm or something, but on my balls, then I'm definitely not going to be one to tell it. And um, I think I finally just plucked up the courage to 
tell everyone, and like, especially you guys as well, um, I just hope that this video really doesn't come across as attention seeking because that is far from what I'm wanting to do. Like, if I wanted to attention seek, I would have I would have told everyone from day one. But um, I'm finding it really hard to, to talk about this. To be honest, um, I don't like talking about private things and especially about my balls because particularly with guys, we don't like telling things like this. We keep it all hush hush and secret. And I'm sure that I'm not the only one out there who. Um, if you found a lump or something, you don't you don't want to tell anyone about it, or you didn't tell anyone about it. Um, it's just not in a guy's nature. Like you always hear stories, you know, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, that's everywhere. But for testicular cancer, you know, it's, it goes under the radar a bit. Um, I think us guys, you know, we we shouldn't be living in silence. Um, like if I if I could talk to my junior self if I was if I could talk to that 15 year old Andy I'd say to him get checked out because there is no need to be so naive to think that it's it's going to be nothing serious because seriously most of the time yeah it could be a cyst I don't know the facts but let's say 90% of the time it's probably going to be a cyst but it could be just that one chance that it is cancer and for you you're just you're just playing with your own life just to for me to think that it's not cancer and just to go through not you know not a couple of weeks but you know we're talking like three years not doing anything about it so literally I just I I thank whoever's up there every single day that I'm still alive because literally that could have progressed and well I don't know I don't really want to talk about it that that I, I yeah I could not be here um, I'm so dumb to even um, go down that road of not telling anyone um, I'm an idiot um, but I, I don't wish that upon anyone. So literally, if there's anyone out there, doesn't matter how old you are, don't be afraid to tell anyone. Don't live in the dark. Um, like for those first three years, I was, I was, I think I was, but like borderline depression. Um, literally, just having that in the back of your mind every single day, and not not knowing what's what's going to happen, what's going to happen with your life. Really, um, it's not it's not something nice to um, to go through. So to so literally, if this video can try and persuade anyone to to talk about it, or if you're still scared to do it, just get yourself checked out. Just go to the doctors. Just get yourself checked out. It's really a simple procedure. Please just don't be scared about dropping your pants and showing your bits. The way that I think about it. We all have everything. We all either have a willy, we all have a vagina or boobs or whatever. Like, we all know what's down there. So, for me, I don't care. Literally, I've been to the doctors so many times. I've been checked out. It's like ordinary to me. I've been checked out for my balls, for my ass, for, um, I've had cameras all up there and everything. Um, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me now. So, yeah, if you're a little old guy, or a big guy, 10 years old, 50 year old, and you're still scared, just get yourself out. It's, just get yourself checked out. It's just, it's really just not worth it. And you'll be so relieved and, oh God, you'll be just, you'll just be so happy. Um, and I'm just, I'm just so thankful that it, that it wasn't anything serious. Um, but, the, but the thing that really got to me is not only living with that secret of mine, it was it was telling my family, um, living with that lie really for over a decade. I haven't told family or even my closest friends. And if you're gonna be watching this video, then this is pretty much the first, well, this is the first time you've heard it. So, um, you know, I'm sorry for not telling you. Uh, I just hope that you can understand how scared and how of a, taboo thing this is to talk about it's um yeah a really private matter but it, sh it shouldn't be like that um yeah you should just get yourself checked out um so yeah that's that's been my story um i just i've been wanting to get this off my chest for so many years um i can't tell you how much it's kind of destroyed me inside but it's just such a relief to to tell people and i can now live my life so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this video or I guess that's not the right thing if if you're going through what I did um, hopefully that you can take something from this and and learn from my mistakes um, yeah no no one should be going th going through what I did um, yeah 
just just get yourself checked out. It's not it's not worth the hassle. Um, so yeah, next time you know we're going to be going back to my normal self again, doing um, funny videos and my wacky and stupid self. But yeah, I just needed to get this off my chest, and hopefully you guys can relate to me um, and just understand. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hi there guys, um, I just want to say thanks very much for watching and listen to a very personal thing of mine. Um, if there's anyone out there who's living in silence like I did and you just want someone to talk to, look, I'm, I'm here for you, so just drop me a message. Or if you think you might know someone who is suffering, then please share this video with them. No, no one should be suffering in silence and be embarrassed when it comes to these sorts of things. You, you you just have to tell someone and it will be sorted straight away. So literally thank you again for listening. I really do appreciate it.